Oh, hello there. How are you? I'm Steve Harper with The Ripple Effect, and I'm here to talk to you about a very serious issue. It's called phone dependency. These little bad boys, in the hands of millions of Americans, and international citizens world around, let me rephrase that, in the hands of almost every cell phone paying customer on the planet, these, my friends, these devices are not your friend. I know they seem like they might be your friend, but they're not. We'll let you in on a little secret. We have become connection deficit individuals. Now, I know that seems weird because we use these things to connect. We tweet, we Facebook, we text, we email. But actually what we're really doing is taking ourselves out of the active everyday life. We're looking down, we're engaging in a little, I don't even know how many screens inches this screen is, but we're living our lives through this thing instead of looking up and looking out. I see so many opportunities for people that probably need to have a conversation to connect, engage, whether it be at a coffee shop, at a restaurant, in an elevator, in a conference. And yet, our security blankets, they're the ones that get our attention. They're the things that take our focus. They're where we spend our time. And that, my friend, is where we have gone awry. It's anarchy in every sense of the word. We are missing opportunities day in and day out because we are handcuffed to these electronic devices. And we feel this unbelievable compelling pull to, to, to totally check in, to always be on our email, to always be checking our Facebook, always to be tweeting, always to be Instagramming. I mean, no offense, but if I see another picture of somebody's food, I'm going to scream. Hey, by the way, did you see mine today of my salad? It was really awesome. Um, I'm talking about other people, not necessarily me. But the reality is these things are preventing us from being a connected society. In fact, they are by and large preventing us from being able to experience life for what it was meant to be. Face to face, belly to belly, conversation with complete strangers, friends, co-workers, our direct reports, our manager. These devices take part of our brain and take part of our attention and our focus away from our circumstances, and we miss key opportunities because of it. When you and I look face to face, we have those conversations and I can look you in the eye and I know you're not distracted by checking the Facebook I know you're here, you're fully present, and you're aware that the conversation I'm having I deem important and critical, and I hope you do the same. But I see an entire generation, now multi-generations of people that don't know how to put these damn things down. They don't know how to have a conversation, and they don't know how to engage, let alone people they know, but more importantly, people that they don't know. These are not our friends. These are a distraction. They are our electronic handcuffs that have grown way too tight. Find a way to set yourself apart. Find a way to pick that head up, look out, and engage. I'm a believer that the people who are supposed to cross your path in life do exactly at the time that they're supposed to. But if we're so mirrored in this, is it mirrored? Mired? If we're so focused on our Facebook news feed, we're missing out. I'm guaranteed you will miss some opportunities along the way. So think about it. Before you get in that line at Starbucks, before you engage that person or before you jump into an elevator, look up, look out, put this thing in your pocket or your purse, have a smile on your face and engage a stranger because you will just amaze yourself at how many cool people are out there who are willing to connect and engage if you just take that first step. If you say the first word and usually with that smile and say, good morning, how are you? The conversation starts there. What you do with it from that point forward is completely up to you. But I will tell you from firsthand experience, it is the most, absolutely most rewarding thing you can ever do. And by God, 
It's so much more powerful than this little device. But those people you connect with, don't forget to friend them on Facebook or connect with them on LinkedIn. Totally kidding. Please do not do that because that'd be creepy and stalkerish. Uh, but the reality is this. Put the devices away. Remember what we're geared for, what we're hardwired to do, which is to connect, engage, and learn to explore and find great conversations to have. Until next time, I'm Steve Harper with the Ripple Effect. Ripple on.